A heartbreaking discovery in a Fort Lauderdale waterway. A two-year-old boy unconscious. That toddler later pronounced dead at the hospital. 7's Rafael Pierce has more on how this happened. Right here. He's doing CPR. Call 911. Desperate and horrifying screams heard ringing out. Come on. Please, As two-year-old, Cormel Bullock is pulled out of the New River in Fort Lauderdale Tuesday night. About an hour earlier, just after 9, you can see him in this surveillance video walking alone near Cooley's Landing Marina. She asked us, did we see a little boy? Tina Miller was nearby when she was approached by a woman frantically searching for the toddler. And she was like, he's a rare little boy, he's missing. And he just, uh, can't, can't she say he just ran out of the house? Because the door was unlocked. Miller and her family joining the search. When we walked under the bridge, my husband said, he found him. He found him. That's him right there. He found him. The boy is pulled out of the water, and first responders quickly begin trying to save him. Tragically, he would not survive. What's running through your mind right now? <laughs> that could have been my baby. Video shows the moments the two-year-old approached the water's edge. We stopped the video before he falls in. I saw uh, all the police flashing lights and everything outside. Donald Govan was aboard his sailboat just feet away from where this happened. The toddler quickly rushed to Broward Health, where he later died. A tragic accident leaving a family and a group of strangers heartbroken. I haven't been able to sleep since. Rafael Pires, today in Florida. Well, that family is asking for privacy as police continue to investigate.